Lexington city leaders were in Frankfurt this morning sharing an update on the city's challenges in public safety, hiring and retention. Bodie Brooks has more, including how the city's police union is reacting. One of the biggest challenges Lexington Police Department has encountered is staffing. It's a challenge Lexington city leaders say started well before the pandemic and summer protests of 2020, a year they say only amplify these issues further. Police Chief Lawrence Weathers hopes the department could be at a turning point. In 2023, we saw the first increase in personnel since 2017. And the number of applicants applying for the Lexington Police Department is increasing too. Weather said in 2019, the department had only 472 Academy applicants. Last year, that number was 875. Weathers is hopeful that this year it's over 1,000. But those numbers may not quite reflect the boots on the ground. Right now, there are 11 more officers working patrol, taking the calls for service than there were 22 years ago. There's no telling how much our population has increased in the last 22 years, but I'm guessing it's more than just a couple thousand. Lexington Police Union President Jeremy Russell argues that the increase in academy applicants isn't necessarily reflecting larger classes. Despite more than 300 applicants this year, his records show that only 16 potential recruits remain in the current academy class. While our staffing is still far from perfect, we are making progress and is getting better. Mayor Linda Gordon and Weathers both point to higher pay and increased use of technology, including a real-time intelligence center and flock cameras, as examples of the kind of investments that are improving morale. Russell says they certainly help, but believes the biggest influence city leaders can have on morale is public support. You know, our last officer that got shot, I think you saw statements from two of our council people, and that's just not... No one wants to work for city leaders that are not going to support them. Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.